Not long ago, the Galaxy Note 10.1 was the tablet to talk about if you were talking about large Samsung devices. Not anymore. It's CES 2014. I'm Michael Fisher with Pocket Now. And we're checking out the Note 12.2, the Note Pro 12.2. We're going to see how it compares in a very vague, non committal kind of way. Sound like fun? Good. Let's do it. So yes, this was large not long ago, but not anymore, because now this is the new large. 12.2, 10.1, most obvious difference is, of course, size. What you might not expect, of course, is that the feel in hand, not all that different, dudes. The 10.1, the 12.2, very, very, very big difference in size. Taylor can't even get them both in the same shot. There's the overlap shot. Look how much more screen real estate you have, and look how many things pop up when you hit the wrong buttons on the 10.1. But the feel in hand, 10.1 I can hold relatively easily in landscape and I really don't feel too bad about it. That's the one low point of the 12.2. Yes, you can hold it one-handed in landscape, but guys, uh, at 700 and grams and change, depending on the version you get, Wi-Fi or LTE, this is, uh, this is beefy. This is a two-handed tablet. Uh, no real surprise there. But my original point, of course, was that the feel in hand when you are using it two-handed is not all that different on the 12.2 inch unit than on the 10.1 inch. Really not an encumbrance and in exchange you get a whole lot more display real estate. Specs are comparable, 3 gigs of RAM on each, Exynos or Snapdragon 800 depend on what you're, uh, what you're looking at in terms of Wi-Fi or LTE. 8 megapixel cameras around back, 2 megapixel cameras up front, etc. And of course the S Pen. The biggest difference of course being that the 10.1 runs on the old TouchWiz, uh, the variant of the Nature UX, customized in this case by our own Taylor Martin, whereas the 12.2 features the new redesign of Samsung's user interface, the one we've seen on all of the tablets here at CES 2014, and one that we are frankly very, very refreshed to see. May not be for everybody, may not be for you, but the amount of customizability, the amount of information density you can get, even on a large panel such as this, is really, really quite impressive. So we have to say kudos to Samsung on finally, um, not to say waking up, maybe that's too cruel, but finally maybe coming into 2014 right on time in terms of software. A lot more to say on both of these devices, but for now, a quick look at how the 10.1 compares to the 12.2, the Note versus the Note Pro. CES, Las Vegas, Taylor Martin behind the camera. I'm Michael Fisher. Good day.